Welcome back guys. So we're going to be finishing up this area where we left off in the last video. And this is going to be a uh, relatively short, but uh, we're going to wrap this up. So what I like to do first is um, actually go around this area and fine tune this area. So what I want to do is go to modify chamfer. I want to select this um, top edge here as well as the same for the rest of the models. So we'll just rotate around and select that outer ring. Once we've done that, we can actually just chamfer it outwards to somewhere around here. If we go to right view, you can see what we did. Let's hit OK. And now that we've done that, I do want to fill it off the top and bottom edges. So I'm going to hit F on the keyboard to enter fillet mode. And I'll grab the top and bottoms of uh, this area that's patterned around here. I don't know if we'll be able to see the bottom. Actually, yeah, we actually can't see it. Then we'll just fill it this off. Dial it back somewhere around here. That looks good. Let's hit OK. So if we're back in the right view, it should look something like this. And let's uh, do the end tips of this area. So what I'll do is select this surface, create a sketch, grab the offset tool, and I just want to offset this slightly to somewhere like this. Hit OK. Select this profile, then shift select the interior, right click, and we can press pull. Now if we return to the right view, we can reference how far we should pull this out. And we should pull this out to about here, right before this uh, crease. And we'll set the operation to new body, hit OK. And what I want to do is actually mirror, uh, pattern this around so we're going to go to create pattern, circular pattern, select our body here. And for the axes, we're going to choose this, um, this ring here. And remember, change the quantity to four. So it appears exactly where the rest of them are. Let's hit OK. Now let's combine this. So let's go to modify, combine. And we want to combine this main body here which is this cylindrical cutoff piece with the last four bodies we created. One, two, three, and four. Ensure the operation is on join and let's hit OK. Now I'm going to hit F to enter fillet mode. I'm going to select all the edges in between. And yes, I could have just split this down the middle and just done one side and mirrored it afterwards. But, you know, that's the beauty of fusion. You can do what you choose to do. Now that we have all four of those, uh, or all of these, which is all eight corners selected, we could actually start to fillet this off to something closer to this. Once you have that smoothed out, you can hit OK. And that looks good. So if I toggle off the canvas, we can see what we just did. So we gave it a housing area. That looks actually perfect. So the last thing I want to do is actually toggle back on the canvas. Well, we can actually remove this body that we turned off earlier because we don't need it. I want to do this, uh, the button that's on the back. So what we'll do for this is select one of these surfaces, create a sketch. We'll use the circle diameter circle tool. And if you don't see it above, hit the create drop down, go to circle, circle diameter circle. And we can choose um, an area like this right in the middle. And we can start to draw this out. 
hit OK once you're satisfied. And I actually want to just bring this back a little further. So I'll select the perimeter, right click and go to move. And I'll just move this up. So I have a little bit of space in between this area. Now I can hit OK. And we can select this profile by left clicking on it, right click and go to press pull. And I just want to press pull it all out just a little bit. So somewhere around here. Change the operation from join to new body. Hit OK. And let's hit F to enter fillet mode. And we want to round this off so it matches the reference. This looks good. Let's hit OK. Now that we have this here, we can now um, start to pattern this around to match the rest. So let's go to create pattern, circular pattern. Ensure the type is set to bodies. And we're going to select this body. And for the axes, we'll choose this ring here. Change the quantity to four. Hit OK. And now if we toggle off our body or off our canvas, we can see what we have. Something a lot closer to the reference. And this looks really good. And I think this is a good stopping point actually. So let's turn back on our canvas and we'll move forward in the next video.